The Honda Ridgeline is the vanguard of the unibody pickup truck revival scene, which is soon expected to blossom into a highly competitive segment after additional automakers apart from Ford and Hyundai enter the fray. Although larger than both the Maverick and Santa Cruz, Honda's midsizer is still a car-like utility specialist that emphasizes comfort and a rich and unique feature set. Yet Ridgeline owners are still expected to deal with a nuisance here and there. So stay with us to find out what ails them. Number 6. Small Cargo Bed and Poor Towing and Payload Capabilities being a mid-sized truck of a unibody variety, it's safe to say that the Ridgeline was never expected to shine in the utility department. It's got one of the smallest beds on the market, further exacerbated by the fact it's also got a single available cab configuration and some mediocre towing and payload capacities. But first things first, at 5'3 or 63.6 inches long, the Ridgeline's bed is only larger than those of the compact Maverick and Santa Cruz, trailing its more traditional body-on-frame competitors by a substantial margin. Yet not not everything is as it seems. While on the small side, the Ridgeline's bed does provide a couple of potentially game-changing quirks that other trucks don't. While it's slightly narrower at the bottom, the in-bed trunk's floor surface opens up at about 13 inches up in the air, where it widens to 50.5 inches, allowing the Ridgeline to fit a sheet of 4 by 8 foot building material flat on the bed floor. Moreover, Honda offers a weatherproof in-bed trunk compartment with an additional 7.3 cubic feet capacity. Apart from the two redeeming qualities, the Ridge Line's bed can hold only 33.9 cubic feet of cargo, making it one of the least capable in the market. Honda's pickup truck also doesn't exactly shine in the towing and payload departments. Although 1,580 pounds of payload capacity isn't necessarily bad, the ability to tow up to 5,000 pounds could definitely do with an improvement, not to mention the diminishing ride quality while towing anything even remotely heavier. After all, the compact Hyundai Santa Cruz is equally capable, despite being smaller and less powerful than the Ridgeline. People who are generally interested in trucks of the Ridgeline's caliber will, however, be quite happy with its capabilities and they probably won't mind the fact that it's exclusively offered in a crew cab configuration with a single bed length. Number 5. Lowest Ground Clearance of All Pickup Trucks and General Lack of Off-Roading Capabilities with only 7.6 inches of ground clearance as of the model year 2022, the Ridgeline is a truck with the lowest stance among all options on the market, small or large. Even the more petite Ford Maverick and Hyundai Santa Cruz boast a full inch more in that respect, setting themselves as potentially capable off-roaders. The Ridgeline, on the other hand, will have a tough time addressing that issue going forward, even as the company has announced the all-new Trailsport trim, specifically intended to rectify the lack of off-roading prowess. The lack of ground clearance is especially hindering with the running boards installed, rendering the truck practically useless when the terrain gets rough. Luckily for future prospective Ridgeline owners, the upcoming Trailsport trim should rectify this glaring shortcoming by offering a lifted suspension and beefier all-terrain tires, not to mention the protective plating and other off-road helpful goodies such as a multi-view camera system, roof rails, and recovery hooks. The Trailsport trim already does its job admirably in the Ridgeline's mechanically related SUV counterpart, the Pilot where it provides a 1-inch lift. Translated into Ridgeline figures, that would finally put the mid-sized truck on a level playing field with its closest competitors, although they all feature off-roading models of their own of varying levels of capability. Still, the glaring lack of any capability in the wild among the current and past Ridgeline models showcases Honda's short-sightedness, as the off-roading potential became one of the main selling points for pickup trucks overnight. It's certainly not something Ridgeline owners are happy with at the very least. Number 4. Lack of Certain Upmarket Features the Honda Ridgeline is as comfortable as pickup trucks get and exhibits a much more car-like ride than the traditional mid-sized trucks such as the Ford Ranger or Toyota Tacoma. Honda also pays attention to detail when it comes to the Ridgeline's feature set and offers one of the more extensive lists of standard convenience and safety gear in the segment and on the market as a whole. However, the more upscale Ridgeline models such as the RTLE and Black Edition still lack some of the features that should be available with their relatively high price tags. Even more baffling is the fact that the features that are missing from the US market Ridgelines are readily available in Canada. Ventilated front seats and heated rear seats are the most pivotal of these more upscale convenience features, and so are rain-sensing wipers, for instance. Honda might still opt to rectify omitting to include such key high-end features in the years to follow, but it's surprising that they haven't done so already. Number 3. Subbar Infotainment System 
Aside from offering a single size fits all 8 inch touchscreen display across the range, which in its own right is a tad bit demoralizing, the Ridgeline also fails to offer an intuitive infotainment system and navigation that's at least remotely competitive compared to, say, Google Maps. More often than not, you'll find yourself relying on the latter via standard Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, as Google Maps are more frequently updated and generally much more precise and intuitive than Honda's in house solution. Honda's maps also come with free updates for three years before requiring a subscription, and Google Maps are free to use anyway. Apart from the fact that other mid-sized competitors offer larger screens at lower price points, many Ridgeline owners will openly tell you that they're unhappy with what they've gotten from their infotainment system. The physical volume knob control is one of the precious few improvements made in recent years alongside software updates, but they still haven't turned Honda's system into something enjoyable. Number 2. A single powertrain with poor fuel economy. Although plenty of buyers would agree to an assessment that offering a 285 horsepower 3.5 liter V6 engine as a sole choice is exactly what the market needs. The no nonsense powertrain, which also utilizes a 9 speed automatic transmission, doesn't exactly tick all the boxes. By that, we mean the fuel efficiency, which can never be as good as it would be with a turbocharged four cylinder. And while some of its rivals, like the Ford Maverick Hybrid, rate in the low 40s, the Ridgeline returns 18 mpg in the city and 24 mpg on the highway at best. Those are more or less standard figures for a mid-sized truck, although the Ridgeline's unibody platform should have been able to squeeze more out of a six-cylinder. Redeeming factors for Honda's truck are the V6 itself and the standard all-wheel drive, which both take their toll on the fuel economy. Competition relies on turbo fours and standard two-wheel drive, and it still barely fares better but that's to be expected due to their construction. Honda would do well to at least offer a fuel-savvy alternative further down the line, although the company still hasn't shown any signs of entertaining that possibility. Number 1. High Price Honda Ridge Lines start from just north of $40,000 for the base sport models and the destination charges and other fees. While this includes standard all-wheel drive, which typically costs around $1,500 everywhere else, it's hard to justify such a high price tag on an entry-level mid-sized truck, especially since competition typically starts from around $10,000 less. It's somewhat easier to justify the $43,000 price tag of the RTL series, which add heated and power-adjustable front seats, leather upholstery, a power sunroof, and even blind spot monitors. Honda offers two more upper echelon trims dubbed the RTLE and Black Edition, which go for around $46,000 and $47,500 respectively. These add the most advanced convenience and safety features into the mix, albeit not as many as the Canadian market models. Still, the truck bed power outlet, wireless charging pad, premium speakers, and truck bed audio are of particular highlight and cannot be overlooked. Despite the numerous advantages it offers, mainly in the lifestyle department, as it is a pickup truck with a touch of crossover, the Ridgeline is far from a perfect truck. Of course, such a thing doesn't even exist, but Honda needs to handle some of the addressable issues and needs to handle them fast. Most competitors have updated their offerings recently, and additional arrivals are expected in the compact truck segment in the following years. Since the Ridgeline essentially compares with both compact and mid-sized trucks, its predicament is clear. On the other hand, Honda's truck delivery is clearly doing plenty things right, including some that none of its competitors have even contemplated. The formula for success is up there, and it's up to the Japanese automaker to utilize it. That brings us to the end of today's video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.